Good afternoon. So the wind is not going to cooperate real great today. But it's sunny. It's pretty nice out. So I don't know if uh, many of you have followed for very long. I have a garden. It's a west facing garden, which is not an ideal garden, but I was using an unusable space. So to me, that's a good compromise. So what I've got is this little corner. Here's the sliding glass door. Here's the garden and then the water hydrant right here. So I've got this corner. I have this corner here. That's about three feet and it's eight feet to that water hydrant. Well, a little over eight feet. I am going to build a potting bench, harvest bench sort of thing. I've got some teeny tiny, and I mean teeny tiny hardware cloth here. It's like a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, I think. Got some pressure treated boards that are used, and I've got an old sink. Now the sole purpose of a, my potting bench is going to be I want to have a place that I can do pots or set vegetables on and rinse them off. What the sink is for. I'm going to also have a splitter on my water hose, well a new one, <laughs> and use it directly to that. So it's going to work. I just, I've had this sink for over a year and have not used it yet. So today I'm going to use it. This wind is going to be terrible so there's not to be a whole lot of talking, but I will try to talk where I can. We have a wind advisory, but this is a sunny day and I didn't want to waste it. So let's get started on my six foot potty bench. Alright, so the basic shell is here. I still need to cut a board for the opposite side for the sink. But it is six foot long and I cut these at 20 inches because my wire is 22 inches so it will staple along both sides of that. So, yeah. Sorry, the wind's blowing my shirt.
look at this guys. I got it in there good and tight. Yeah, there's gaps. I can fill all this in. Don't worry about that. I thought about cutting plywood at one point in time. I think I'm going to take that wire and just make sure all these open spaces is going to have wire underneath them. Like this here and this here. But yeah. And then this side is just going to be wire. Oops. I'm going to trip and fall in a minute. Yeah, guys. That looks pretty awesome, but considering I made it with crap material and my legs are not straight. And yeah. I think I might turn this front leg here to match this one. So other than a few trimmings, like filling in gaps and securing the sink down and the rest of this down and trimming this little bit off, which actually if it stayed, it really wouldn't be a big deal because it is out of the way, but I'm going to throw it off. This is done. I got to secure this wire back down and make sure the sink is sturdy. The next project for this thing is going to be the faucet. Because the faucet on it worked, but I've got to add fittings so I can attach it to my water hose. Yeah. And clean all the grass out. <laughs> now eventually this right here is going to be kind of a paved patio space. I want to have old pavers or bricks all under this because this right here stays muddy under the gate. There's going to be one 16 foot bed that way. It's going to be a tomato bed. It's going to get amended every year and it's going to grow uh, winter crops every year also. So it's, I'm not worried about it. So I'll have to level and probably fix this in the future. But for now, it works for what it is. And I made it in a couple hours in the afternoon with a tiny saw <laughs> and a drill and some, just some dumb knowledge. <laughs> I don't build things. I'm not a builder. My grandpa was a carpenter. I'm not a carpenter. But it'll work for what it is. It'll be perfect. I can wash stuff off and throw it right here. Or anything that's dirty, I can just set it right here on this wire. It is in a space that was unusable for any other purpose, really, because, I mean, it's an eight-foot corner, a four-by-eight corner right there in front of the garden. I want to in the future though add kind of a little J leg off of it here so make it a larger counter space but for the sake of where things are the sink had to be here in order to reach the faucet. Well guys thank you for watching and supporting us and thank you for watching this whole episode that's pretty windy and I'm taking most of the voices out of it. I so appreciate all the support you give us. Truly, you don't know how much it means to me. Thank you guys. We'll see you soon. God bless.